Well, we are learning more today about a deadly Illinois limo crash that left a Monona woman dead and five other local people hurt on Friday. The crash leaves many unanswered questions about the company involved and the 20-year-old limo driver. News 3's Chris Gaffner joins us now with more. Chris? Hi, Mark and Michelle. Well, that crash on I-90 near Chicago killed 53-year-old Terry Schmidt of Monona. 20-year-old Aaron Nash of Janesville was driving that limo for Lions Limousine of Edgerton, and some are questioning whether someone that young should have been driving a limo in the first place. I talked to a Dane County limo company owner to learn what companies have to do to keep people safe. They're heavy vehicles, so you have to slow it down, increase your following distance. Robert Tatro of Presidential Limousine Service says his company does everything it can to ensure a safe ride for passengers. When we hire drivers, they have to be at least 25 years old, clean driving record, no moving violations in the last three years, no DUIs. It's the safety practices of another company, Lions Limousine, leaving unanswered questions. 53-year-old Terry Schmidt of Monona was a passenger in the company's limousine, driven by 20-year-old Aaron Nash when it crashed, killing her. Schmidt's husband, along with four other passengers, all from the Madison area, were injured in the crash. Tatro says his company won't hire anyone as young as that limo driver. We require our drivers to be 25 years old, as that's our insurance requirement. Uh, we have very strict insurance requirements. Uh, Vehicle commercial insurance is very expensive, and uh, so we start with 25 years and go on up from there. He says driving limos takes skill. We're looking for five to ten years of professional driving experience. And a lot of licensing. One is a DOT Motor Carrier Authority, uh, which is the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Association, uh, where it lists out what your permit numbers are, what your insurance requirements are. State of Wisconsin, we need to have the Department of Transportation, a common carrier, a passenger authority. I reached out to Lions Limousine Service with phone calls, emails, and a visit to the Edgerton address listed online for the company. Nobody responded back. Tatro says for any limo service, safety should come first. Since we're hauling passengers for hire, hire a commodity, you have someone's, people's lives at stake. Illinois State Police weren't able to tell us whether Lions Limousine had insurance or the proper licenses and permits. Now, not all limo drivers are required to get a commercial driver's license. Troopers wouldn't say what type Nash had. Troopers say they won't make a decision on citing Nash until the investigation is complete. We'll keep following this one for you on News 3 and Channel3000.com and get you any updates when they come in, guys. All right, Chris, thanks very much.